Hi everyone, thank you for watching. I'm so excited about this Halloween makeup tutorial and I hope you guys like it. I'm starting off with taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette and I'm taking the lightest shade Tempera and I am buffering that in underneath my eyebrow to highlight the brow bone. Now going in with the same palette, I'm going in with Bon Fresco, sorry if I butchered the name, it is the light purple shade, and I'm going to blend that in in my transition shade. Now I'm going to play with the new Jaclyn Hill palette collaboration with Morphe and I'm going to go in with the brightest purple shade and it is called Royalty. The shadow was really hard to blend although I'm really going to pack that onto my lid and blend that in with the transition shade. It took a lot of time to play with but we got there. Now I already primed my face using the Cover FX Mattifying Primer with Anti-Acne Treatment and with my Tarte Foundation Brush I'm going to be going into the 10 Hour Wear Perfection Foundation from Sephora. Next I'm dipping into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I'm using the middle shade in the bottom row to really sculpt out my cheekbones and my temples to give my face a skull look. To contour my nose, I'm also going to dip into the Contour Cream Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Nude, and I'm going to be using a blending brush. Bobbi Brown's retouching wand and extra light. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit again, light to medium, to highlight the lightest parts of my face. Now I'm dipping into Max. Justine Sky Iridescent Pressed Powder. It is the most beautiful purple highlighter I've ever seen and I'm using this to create a triangle under both my eyes.
bottom parts of my lips. Tarte Skinny Smolder Eyes Amazonian Clay Waterproof Liner. I'm going to create a line in the middle portion of my lips, top and bottom, and I'm also going to create two horizontal lines coming out of the corners of my lips. This is to create a skull effect, almost as if your lips were a skull or a bed. <laughs> Tarte eyeliner and I'm creating the sun on my right part of the neck and the moon on the left part of my neck. This is just a rough sketch as to what it may look like. part for me I had to use the Tarte same Amazonian clay waterproof eyeliner and also Marc Jacobs highlighting gel crayon and then on top of that you could use any black eyeshadow to fill in every bit and piece of it
Unfortunately, I had to do this step off camera, although I used the Kat Von D ink liner and trooper to write goodbye in the Uwiji letters across my chest, and also used the triangular hardish piece that you use to play the game right in the middle of my chest. Now I completed the yes portion of my right cheek with a little heart at the bottom, and now I'm writing the word no, also in the Uwiji letters on the left part of my cheek with a tear at the bottom of it. Dipping into the same MAC purple highlighter, I'm just spreading that across my collarbones. To complete this look, I'm going to use Tarte's Lights, Camera Flashes, Mascara, and my upper and bottom lashes. With the same MAC Purple Highlighter, I'm going to apply that on my eyebrow bone and my inner corners of the eye. Then with Graveyard Girl's Swamp Cream Palette, I'm going in with Gator Rings, and I'm going to use the highlighter on the bridge of my nose. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this look. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments down below. Of course, have a happy and safe Halloween.